This is Mark Antwis. I'm just calling about your conversion therapy. Your parents talked to me yesterday and said now would be a good time to call. Wait, about what? Yeah, so I'm going to be your conversion coach. In order to come to St. Peter's and play soccer, you do need to complete one full course of gay conversion therapy. So my name's Mark. When I moved to Miami, I started having some sinful, dark desires. I, I loved Hispanic men, just having that pressed kind of on top of my, my face and the feeling of just that, that first kind of stretch. When I found Christ, I realized that I actually don't enjoy that. It doesn't sound good. And what I really, I really prefer is making love to wo <coughs> woman. I watch mixed martial arts. You ever watch mixed martial arts, Gabe? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's really, it's cool. It's a good uh, Christian heterosexual activity, especially the grappling. I love watching um, the Brazilians when they, they do kind of like a rear naked choke and they, they hold it and hold it. And uh, you can tell that they, they really penis mean it. Sometimes I erect it. I, sometimes I forget to turn it back on. I'll just kind of have that and I'll, I'll turn off the lights and pray. <laughs> I'm so lonely, so empty inside, and no matter how much I pray, I just want to suck it. No! No! Matthew 7, 16 said, He shall not lay with another man or be stoned upon him. I'm not gay no more. I don't want mans no more. I'm delivered! Women, 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 women! Ah, this is Christopher. I'm just calling for Gabe. When we had one of our recruits call you and uh, seems like he just needed a bit of prayer in his life. And I, I did want to apologize that things got off track there. That wasn't very professional of him. And I'll share a little bit of my story with you. I've been uh, a change man for about four years now. I used to go to truck stops and I'd go into the back stall and I'd do something called piss play. A complete sin against God and a one-way ticket to hell entailed me pulling down a man's pants, watching him hydrate up top with usually a Slurpee or a coconut water he got from the 7-Eleven. He'd just pee right into my mouth, getting on my knees in a different way, at home, asking God to finally fix me. Just want to taste it again one time. Live your life the way you want. Be a catcher and take that dick. This is Jamish, I'm just right, right, I'm just taking over this call. So um seems that we have a bit of a problem there with uh, one of our senior coaches. I do want to apologize for our inconsistencies today. Sometimes people need they're being tested. We call it uh we call it the dark night of the soul. One of those those nights when you you think that Satan's calling and he's telling you to do something that sounds delightful, right? I remember sometimes I would go to uh Go down to. No, not, not again, not again, not again. We're not doing this again. I've I don't Misty. need to hear no story. I don't need to hear. I don't want to hear any more stories. I'd enjoy myself, and I'd think I'd okay. never. Uh, I'm, I'm about to hang up. I'm, I'm about to hang up. Oh. Who actually are you? Oh. Yeah, just Alex from TikTok. I mean, you're definitely not homophobic. I was listening to the stories, and I was listening for a little too long. That was, that was good. I'll, I'll give it to you. You want to give it to me, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah.